Hey, don't try to take money from me. I don't feel like it. Don't do it. All right, fine. <laughs> Oh my god, don't do it, it's a trap! Don't throw your money in there! You're just giving it to God and he doesn't exist! Whoa! Jeez, what do you have against wishing wells, dude? They're just there to make people feel good. You don't have to be a friggin' downer about it. Either way, please do not hurt me. I do not Ow! mean to bring you any harm. God, he jumped up and hurt me. What a dick. Either way, there is something here, so I may as well get it since the hospital has told me to come here and get it. Ow! Could you back? Okay, I'm good. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. This is your host, DMJ406! Ah, oh, cool. All right, I should probably blow up this wall. Yeah. Ow, do you... Oh, God! Pain, pain. This is your host, DMJ406, and... Oh, sweet! Look what I found! A guy! They're all rumors are defeating enemies. It's the secret of my success. Wow. Thanks. Thanks for the hint. Kill enemies to get money. Who'd have guessed? Not me. I never would have thought you got money from killing people. You robbed them blind, damn it. Well, whatever. Sounds like a fairy fountain. I don't know. But... Ooh! You found the ice rod! It's Jill Magic Blasty Hair for Watch a Magic Meter. So I have an ice spell now. Ooh, neat. Oh, yeah. There's also something else at that end over there. There you go, an ice rod. If you want to freeze enemies, there you go. It's not useful for now, but eventually you'll want to have this on you. In fact, I guess I could say it's actually a completely optional item. But why you wouldn't have it... Is beyond me. You have something to freeze enemies. If they're really that troubling, you can use, ca spend some magic to get rid of them. Hmm. Eh. Ooh, a good bee! This thing's pretty cool. You call it a bee! Keep it in a bottle. Did I get rid of something for it? Oh, right. I, have, I had a third bottle handy. I forgot about that. So yeah, charge that fountain, you get what is called a good bee. This thing's pretty cool. Let me show you how it works. Go, good bee! You have a bee that will help attack your enemies for you and do a lot of damage while it does so. Oh, my bee friend. So, yeah. This bee's pretty cool. He'll protect you. He's pretty sweet. And, well, that's where you can find the good bee. You can recapture them, though, to keep putting them back in your bottle, though, if you really want to keep them. I just want to show it all. Regular bees will also help you, but not nearly as long or effectively as that good bee does. So there you go. If you want a little projectile to help attack enemies while you run around, a good bee's a good item to have. I, for one, don't need that kind of thing. But hey, it's a really cool feature that they have something like that. You can help the bees, not the bees! Ow! Stupid friggin' slime. But yeah, regular bees will do that, just not nearly as effectively. Don't waste your time putting a regular bee in a bottle. But yeah, I'd say it's better to have recovery items rather than a bee. But, well, you do you. For now, let me go bomb here. Excuse me, I'm coming. Ow! I'm coming in. Yeah, your bombs hurt you, if you weren't aware of that. <laughs> Just be careful. Oh! Oh! Not these things! No! Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm scared now. I hate these things. Get used to these creatures, by the way. You'll see them a decent bit later. Oh. The freaking worms just swerve around the screen. <laughs> I hate those. Hey, guy, what's up? Take some rupees. Don't tell her what I gave it to you. Keep it between us, okay? Sweet! 300 rupees! I'm happy about that. Thanks for the bombs. Hey, don't take everything. Money! Hey, come on! Sweet money, dude! Arrows! You're an asshole. Sweet! Thanks for the free moolah! Son of a bitch! I should have killed him! This is why I wait to get money. 
Once you buy Zora Flippers, get all the money you can. So that way you can buy all those upgrades early. That's basically how I go about it. Try to basically get all the upgrades you can. I take it, Dave! Sweet, drops a fairy! It's pretty much an enemy with a guaranteed item drop. Who doesn't love that? It's weird. I love the big bright boulders, but not the small dark boulders. Hmm, what kind of grip do you need for that? I wonder. But I don't care enough to actually wander long enough. Let's go! Thanks for more money. I appreciate it. Trail the cave east of Lake Highlight. Strange and wonderful things live in it. Oh, I guess that was it. Okay. Oh, he's talking about the fairies. Okay. I see. Thank you. Did you have to take all that, dude? Yes. Yes, I did. You gonna fight me about it? Ah, good. I'm getting plenty of cash now. Is that what I like to spend my time doing now I have all this? Ow! Thanks for three arrows I didn't need. Jeez, he's first! And yeah, don't forget, now you have this magical shield. Ow! You can block fire spells. So as fireballs the Zora shot out, now they won't hurt you. They won't go through your shield and damage you now. Thank goodness. Alright, before I go back to, uh... Before I go back to that fountain to get more inventory upgrades... Ow! Stop! Oh yeah, when you're charging, your shield gets put down. Another word of warning. Ow! God damn! These guys are good shots. I'm out of here. Screen guys, I'm doing him. Ow! Oh wait, my home's that way. Shit. Eh, yeah, screw you, I'm not going home. I like that, huh? Oh god! They're getting aggressive! Help! Help! Jeez. Oh, don't forget, I have plenty of fair fountains near my house. I know where to go if I'm nearly dead. For now, I'm just gonna wander. Excuse me. Hey! You must want to die! Oh yeah, there's a path over there. God damn it. I could've gotten here faster. Apples, please! Oh, better! Who needs apples? Ow! When I have a fairy. Leave me alone! God, these knights are assholes! Stop poking me! Man, leave me alone. Ah, bee! Not the bees! Ah! I hate bees. I've always hated bees since I was a kid. Back off, bee! Dead. Stupid bees are the worst. But we need them for our flowers! <laughs> Freaking bees. I've never been a fan of them. Alright. Where is that one guy hiding around in here that had a treasure chest? Not you. Okay, bye. Was it in here? Oh, wait. Yeah, it was in here, right? There was a house that had a... Ah! I'm trying to remember. Where was the house that had the... Uh... Am I thinking something else? Am I be... Ah, thinking something else. Shit. Let me come in here for a sec. Damn it, I wanted to go... Ow! Find money. I forgot where the money was. Well, I don't need that, so I'll just take those and be on my way. Damn it! I remember there was a spot. I found somebody with a lot of money, but I forgot where that is now. I thought it was in here. It's not in here, right? That was the shop! You just went in there! My memory sucks. Yeah, in case you're wondering, I don't, like, have, like, a speedrun strategy for this game. I just wing it. I don't really remember the best way to go through this game, so... Yeah. Don't be surprised if I kind of wander around for a while, trying to remember where everything is. Because, well, I have not memorized this game. That's not what I'm about. Excuse me, I'm gonna break into your house, miss. Because you don't trust me. No! Stop it! Stop stealing my cash, you freaking elf! You sound like you have to stop yourself from saying something worse. My Mario World fun ruined. Hmm. Trying to remember. Not. I guess I don't remember. Screw it. Let's go. Well, I do know where I want to go next, but. 
explore a little bit more first. Let's check out a few things. Like here, for example. There's this one grave that's blocked off in the front by those little bright stones. I'm gonna whiff that. Take that, knight! You like that? Man, I didn't even look. I just threw it at him. Oh, sweet. Okay, why? Let's push this open! Sweet, a hole. Oh, right, there is money in here, though. Ow! You mind, stupid rat? Oh, sweet. Thanks, stupid rat. Oh, yeah, I can charge at them. Well, you remember this part of your way to the sanctuary? As well? If you do, well, good news! We're gonna get some money. There are little crack walls here. You come in here, check out you get. Some healing and... Bombs! Along with money and arrows! Cool. So there you go. Actually, yeah, I think I did check everything I wanted to. Well, there was money here. I'm glad I came here then. Sweet. Let's see if I can get 900... Ow! Rupees before I head out. I want to have pretty much everything I can on me to buy as many upgrades as possible. That way I have less to buy later, and I can hold on to my money for other needs. Like buying other things I need, like potions and playing games. The other games to pay into to get more money. Alright then. I kill these ropes. Ow! Man, these ropes are cruel, man. And I never liked snakes either. Get... Yeah. Whoops. Looked like I was dashing the switch. My bad. What the hell is he doing in there? What? Why are you back in there? I had some money to pick up. Oh, no. You need the wizard and soldiers may regain their sanity. Go, seek the pendants. Oh, yeah. I already talked to you. D did he just take the royal family treasure vault? No. Excuse me. Well, I had fun at least getting that. That was cool. Okay. Anything else I could do before... Hey! Take that! Ow! Dick. Hmm. I think there's something weird I could do if I time it right. Well... I don't think I did it right, though. Nope. Oh, yeah, I've been in here. Right. Really? He ignored me? <laughs> I don't need you, fairy! I don't need you! Hmm. I know there's a glitched room in this game. I... There's basically some weird way to try to get into a room. And basically, the game doesn't know what room you're gonna go into. You go into some special room that has some rupees, a bunch of water, and you have a secret message. It says something along the lines of... Oh, what was it? It was a contest about it, about having your name put in a room in the third Zelda game. It was only a glitch room. I forget the name of the winner. It's not coming to me at the top of my head. I can look up. I can look that up later. But yeah. Kind of kind of weird. Would you be happy that your room was in the game? Would you be happier if it was a regular access room so everyone could see it? Or happier knowing that it's a hard-to-find room that only the deepest of players would notice. Or people actually willing to clutch the game. It was like a fail-safe. If it didn't know where you were going, it'd be like wrong warped or something. All games had something called wrong warps, in case you need to know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, I can't jump in that water, damn it! Why am I trying to jump in that water anyway? Oh my god, I always forget about this location. Ooh, a fairy, good. There's a lot of strong knights here. Fairy! Jeez, quit running from me, you bitch. I needed you in my life. Man, I just want to know 10 rupees. That's all I want. 10 more rupees. Ugh. Oh, well. Not a big deal. I'll kill you! Dang, I doubt you'll find money in trees. Money doesn't grow on them. Maybe some, but not many that I've seen. Hey! But how are you still coming out after I cut it down? We have our ways. Sweet! 
It's got my red rupee. All right, good. I'm out of here. Fat gave me an inventory upgrade. Hmm, is there a faster way back? Ow! There was, but I went the wrong way to it. As far as I know, I don't think there's anything else hidden I haven't discovered yet that I can discover. Ow! At least not at the top of my head. I hope I got everything I could so far. Here's your sign! What was that? Damn it! I failed! My joke didn't land! Boo! That's what I get. Another shop. May I help you? Give me your heart. Thank you much. You can recover one heart. He stole my heart. I'm gonna break it, too. Bitch. Make me pay to heal. And I got hurt. Hurry! Right. That's a fortune teller, right? Pretty sure that's a fortune teller. Got this near my house, too. Man, everything's near my house. My uncle knows what's up. Yeah, it's a fortune teller. Don't need it. I know where I'm going. I'm going up a mountain. All right, we're going to do that after I get this inventory upgrade stuff. After I upgrade my inventory again, I'm going to go towards the, uh, yeah, mountain. A lot of interesting stuff starts to happen once we go up the mountain. But for now, let's go upgrade my inventory. There we go. I get most of this knocked out now. I don't need rupees for a while, so may as well knock out all this I can. 50, please. Don't make this take any longer than it needs to. Good luck. Thank you. But yeah, I think I started to mention it. I don't know my best... I don't know, like, the best way to speed run this game. I really just go by whatever I feel like doing. So... Yeah, if I'm not doing something efficiently, I apologize, but I'm not a speedrunner of this game, and, well, I haven't played this game enough times to really figure out the uh, quote-unquote ideal route. And this is probably a game that's been done to death, so some people may be upset by that. But you know what? I don't try to do games to perfection, all right? I just play games to have fun. And trying to stress yourself out over doing it super fast, if that's something that you like to do for pride, good for you. But for me, I just don't see myself being able to put myself through that kind of stress. Well, what's a game that gets you something based off your speedrun efforts? Like, uh, you know, the Metroid series. At least the 2D ones. And the Shantae games. Games that give you, you know, better endings for speedrunning. That's something I can admire. That's something I like about the Metroid series. As fun as it is to explore the world and get yourself stronger with all those upgrades and all that, and, you know, it just makes you feel accomplished how strong you become. Speedrunning those games, because of getting endings for being super fast through the games, feels like a major accomplishment. And it's definitely, Super Metroid is definitely one of those games that definitely, you know, pushed the speedrunning community forward. That and Doom. Ah, oh, Doom. You're a classic. But yeah, if people think I'm going too slow, I'm sorry. Have you been to this channel? I don't go very fast when I do things. I take my sweet-ass time, okay? <laughs> I don't try to impress anybody. I just go by my own flow. So that's what's fun. Also, we having fun watching me throw these rupees in this well over and over again? I'm sorry, but this is the arduous process you get when you're trying to get your upgrades in this game. And I want to get rid of all my rupees now. Because, well, I'm going to get a lot of rupees later on. Although, hopefully I don't lose too many. Because I'm going to need rupees later in the game for a few things. I only think of... I'm trying to think of how many other things left in this game I actually need rupees for. As far as I can remember, I think it's two. And one's not too far from now. The other one's late game. So, yeah. You don't need too many rupees in this game, which is nice. But, well, just a heads up. You're going to need money eventually. Look at all this extra ammo I have, though. This is totally worth it. I may be wasting time, but God damn it, Getting some money to give me some extra ammunition. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing it is. Can we hurry up and speed this along? I got plays to beat it, eh, damn it! Man. Man, this bitch does not respect my time. Then again, 
I keep pestering her. It's like, all right, okay, I granted his wish. Sweet, a pawn of happiness. There you go. Oh, wow. That's a lot of money. Hmm, maybe I should come, consider coming up. By the way, you're gonna be a big trouble. Son of a bitch! Is that the same guy? Here's more money. How deep are your pockets? Okay, fine. Here, have a bigger quiver. Jesus Christ. I can only stitch that freaking quiver so many times to make it bigger and bigger. Do it again. Oh my... I'm going to be the richest fairy in the world with all this. I better thank this man. Hey, I got you more money! <laughs> Here you go! Take it! Alright, I think I've had enough of you. Thanks. Now leave me alone. Look at all this extra ammo I have! Good thing is, we're almost done with the ammo expansions. So next time I come back, we'll probably be the last of the ammo expansions you get. So, yeah, we're almost done with that. Alright then, now I got that taken care of. I should probably try to make my way back. So, now I've done pretty much everything I can think of at the moment. Let's try and make our way back to the, uh... Oh, there's a heart piece just sitting on a random island out there. Neat. Now let's try to make progress, shall we? Alright, where are you going? And while progress, I shall make... Ow! Ow. Oh, man. That really was a waste of time. I spent time looking for money, and I spent a lot of time spending all of my cash at that one spot. 900 rupees of it. Sorry for that waste of time, but hey. At least I have all this ammo to help me. So, chances of me running out are very low. Trust me, it'll be better in the long run, especially the way that I play, that I have money now. Oh, yeah, there's something up here by the... Oh, this is an area I was thinking of trying to reach. I was wondering. So I think... Is that a piece of heart? Yes, it is. Awesome. I thought there was a piece of heart somewhere around the sanctuary. I always forget about that one. All right, now let's go where I need to go. Sorry we're not making a lot of progress, but hey, you want to gear yourself up for the next part of the game, because this is where the... This is where the first part of the game actually gets a little tricky. Because, well... Enemies start becoming a little dickish. As well as environments. And we're going to learn a few things. So, well... Do not enter Death Mountain without the king's permission. Blah, blah, blah. Ow! Stupid crab. Freaking rock crab. Let's go in. So, we have a maze. Cool. A dungeon maze. With holes and such. Don't fall in the hole. It'll hurt you. It's a pit. Ah! See, you lose a heart. And throw you back to the beginning of the dungeon and you fall in the hole. Mainly because you'd be trapped otherwise. At least they let you back out if you take too much damage. That's nice. This is a weird maze. I don't know who you are, but you're going up to the mountain. Will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... Okay, fine. Stupid old man. Come with me. Uh, watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Can you turn right here? Young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just head as a mountain full of monsters. Many people banished to this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a bad quest. Thank you. Hey, you went left! Sorry. By the way, you can't dash very fast with this old man behind you. Oh, God, bats! Jesus. Are you the Batman? No, I'm not the Batman. Uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who is your age. The king took her to the castle. She never returned. Kidnapping those maids must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he has tried to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. At least there's some people like you who knows what, who know what's going on. Then again, those that have had their grandchildren or children kidnapped, I'm sure would actually know what's going on. Which is good. And the knight's probably... Ah! They probably came here. I hate these little guys. Slash them, they turn to stone. You can't kill them. Ow! Ow, bowlers! The missing maids are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wonder who that is. I will wait for that day. Uh, 
These are dangerous times. I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. Uh, I wanted to give you this. He wanted a magical transporter keys in this mirror. Whoa, what the hell? He gave you the magic mirror. The mirror is blue, clear, and beautiful. You feel like it's going to absorb you in another world. Oh, no, the mirror world. Ow! God! Why are there boulders raining down? The wizard has deceived the king, and now he is trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you will need the moon pearl, which is in the tower on top of the mountain. All we do for you now is to cover your weariness. Come back here anytime. Thank you! That's very nice of you, sir. So yeah, there you go. He'll heal you, too. This mountain sucks, by the way. Huh, he didn't hurt me. That was weird. Well, I may as well see what's forward here. I think it's just another exit to the cave. God! Yeah, this whole cave is just a giant maze. Thankfully, there's no special item to find in here. It's really just for exploration's sake. Let's go out here. Not that it matters, but I'm up higher now. Cool, I'm up here. You know, I could have just climbed this ladder to also get up here. God damn it, I wasted my time. Ow! Going up there. All right, I should probably not run into those. Yeah, there's a lot of boulders there. Not gonna worry about it. What? Jeez. What the hell happened for all these boulders to be raining down? All these maids are getting, being kidnapped for something for Aghanim's plot, whatever he could be planning! Ow! Jesus! Hmm, a bridge! I want. Oh! Nope! <laughs> Never mind! Not going that way. Cool! That is a giant broken bridge. Don't mind me! I'm just running along here. Ow! Hoping to not die! Ah! No! Damn it! I hate this place. Although I ran around like an idiot. So I deserve that. A fairy will heal you up seven hearts. Oh, come on! Rip off. Could have used another heart, you bitch. Oh, god damn it. I just came out of here. What am I doing? Get out, get out, get out. Oh, cool. These will magnetize through doors when I charge at them. Excuse me while I run away, please. Ugh. Hmm, what's this? This cave leads to the path back to the Kakariko village. Well, if you want to leave the mountain, there you go. Well, you probably shouldn't do that. So excuse me while I go this way. Let's explore a little more. What's in here? Seems like a worthless cave, though. Ooh, a pit to fall down. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Hole in a cave. Ooh, fairies! Good, I used one. Gimme! Give Gimme give the fairy. You know what? Just for now, give me another fairy. There, now I have two of you. I'll remember to put, replace one of you with a potion I'll need later. But now I have fairies. Good. Now, this is not any, like, crazy, stupid fetch quests in this game, too. That's probably another thing people like. There's not crazy fetch quests in this. There's, like, a couple? Only a few of them are a big deal, but it's not, like, a really back-and-forth thing. They'll just be taking something to a destination. Where other games, you'll be going back-and-forth places and frickin' wasting your time and all that fun stuff. Whoa! Ooh. Neat. Oh, my God. This episode's getting long. Crap. All right, I'll end the episode. Why not? Whee! At least you can hop down ledges with some shortcuts and stuff. Pretty fun. This place is a lot of exploring to do. By the way, if you save and quit, there's another place you can uh, spawn to. And you have a full, you have a full-time healer here with this old man. So thank you for healing me. I appreciate that. And I think I'll just stand here with this old man, because I do not want to stand out there. It's dangerous. So, come back next time for Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and we are going to continue to climb up Death Mountain. Because, well, he said there's something called a Moon Pearl in the tower up there. Well, if you know so much about this legend, perhaps I should take his advice and go up and get it, huh? This old man knows more than everybody else in this world. Why couldn't you be the wise man? What's a wise man? Oh, never mind. <laughs>